give you confidence considering the result against West Coast here early in the season? Look, we actually uh, well, we love playing footy, obviously, in any conditions, and um, we've only had, probably had two dry weather two dry weather games in the last twelve rounds. So we're accustomed to playing in some greasy conditions. But look, whatever uh, the skies present us um, come tomorrow night, you know, we'll look forward to the challenge. And look, you know, we had a great experience here against West Coast in similar conditions. And if it presents that again, we'll know, we know that we're, we can handle those situations. And the boys pull up from that game against West Coast. Did that impact your selection? No, not at all. Uh, we pulled up really well. Um, yeah, we enjoy playing on uh, the fast tracks. And uh, yeah, look, we put up really well. We had a good game the following week. And uh, yeah, we didn't have to adjust any selection issues there at all. So uh, yeah, real clean bill of health. So much talk about the hardness of the stadium. Obviously, Dixon, no Dixon or uh, Wines this week. Is that the major concern, the hardness or the trouble? Oh, just purely that Dixon hasn't played for about nine months and played one game. And Molly Wines is just a fair bit of footy. So the conditions and coming to Perth had um, no, no influence on that. Um, we're looking at the bigger picture and uh, we, we came off a great win in China and we've got to make sure that we uh, show faith and, and allow, it also allows us to uh, keep our star players uh, finding some form. But uh, they'll get another run under the belt for the Magpies and uh, they'll put their case forward for the following week. Prio's big fan stocks have been quite depleted in the last couple of weeks. Um, you guys have the advantage in the area, do you think? You'd like to think so, um, but uh, look, if they bring in Darcy, um, you know, they've got Jones playing uh, in for Peel as well. Uh, they're big lads, so uh, we've got to make sure that our rough stocks, obviously, and Paddy and Scotty, uh, turn up the play and use it to their advantage. But you can't, um, you can't just take things for granted and just think because they've got one ruckman uh, that we've got a pure advantage because there's a lot, whole lot of aspects at ground level that we've got to make sure we get right as well. How much do you call in your time at Subi against Peel in assessing some of those players who might come in for prayer side? Yeah, there's a few there, but obviously there's a lot of new faces as well. Um, similar, similar style of game that you've come up against. You know, they uh, they love the contest, um, Freo. Um, you know, they bring the pressure, and um, yeah, look, you try and tap into a little bit of what you know, but uh, at AFL level, it's a different level. There's a lot more going on, and a lot of new faces. But um, just excited to be back here. Last night, uh, Sydney Stack. So congratulated, I guess, any bets on a, one of his spectacular goals. What do you make of it? Would you be comfortable with one of your players? Congratulating an opposition player or something like that? Uh, look, it's, it's hard for me to comment on that. You know, um, in the moment you see uh, a legend of the game, young in, uh, and with a young Indigenous fella finding his way in Sydney Stack, and I think it shows uh, the, I suppose, the humility of uh, of Eddie Betts and um, who he is as a person. To uh, probably they probably had a bit of banter, and I think I think look, I would have no problem with it at all. Um, I think it just shows his character, really. For you, I guess, being coaching at Subi and then coming going to Port and then coming back here for, to play games here. Is that a special moment for you to be able to come back to Perth? I always love getting back to Perth when the sun shines out, but uh, <laughs> both times I've come back and it's raining. But no, look, I, I love coming back to Perth. Um, a couple of the boys just said to me then that I'm always up and about when we come back to Perth. And it's my second trip home. And as I said before, we had a great experience uh, when we came over and beat West Coast. And uh, we're really looking forward to repeating that uh, tomorrow night. How's the young fella settling in? He uh, could nearly be playing in the curtain raiser tomorrow if not for an ankle injury. Yeah, yeah. Look, he's been going well. Uh, the family settled in really well, and you know he's had a big uh, transition with his football. Um, he's in the SA program. Uh, they're fa- yeah, they run a fantastic program, and unfortunately, yeah, he's uh, he's had two foot injuries and misses out tomorrow. But hence why he didn't want to come over and watch because he doesn't like watching. He likes playing. But um, yeah, look, uh, hopefully one day he'll get his opportunity to play on this fantastic stadium. How's Paddy Ryder doing? Yeah, yeah, well, he's, he's out there training, he's ready to go. Um, once again, he's another Perth person that wants to uh, make sure he puts in a good performance in front of family and friends. And, you know, uh, he played well here against here last time we were here against West Coast. And, uh, yeah, look, he'll be ready to go. So, probably Gray, him were kicking seven from the main group at the start. Was that any injury concerns around those two? Probably the, probably the fact that they're 30 odd years of age and uh, they like a lot training session before um, before our main game. And, yeah, look, it's just part of our captain's run. Yeah, they, they come in and out. and. You know, the boards are pretty active, they're up and about, we've got to make sure that they're ready to go tomorrow. Yeah, Tony Hartlett, the first game in 420 days, so how's he feeling? Oh, he's excited. Um, yeah, look, it's been a long road back for, for Hammer. Um, yeah, one of our vice captains and uh, true leaders of the footy club, the way that he'll play the game is exactly what we're looking for. You know, straight line football, heart of the ball and uh, really direct from, from back. So, uh, yeah, great to have him back. Ross said the game's won and lost in the midfield. Do you agree with that sort of sentiment? 
Oh, look, it, it start, does start and stop there at times. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's where the contest or initiates. Uh, look, we know they've got some uh, midfield beasts in Mundy and Fife and Walters kicking goals. Um, but we feel like we're tracking really well ourselves. You know, we've got a lot of flexibility within our midfield. And But yeah, that's one part. Um, but uh, if all 22 of us play their role and, and get our job done, I say it's like cliches, but um, if we all just sort of come to the party and play our role, I'm sure we'll get the result we're looking for. Do you play to that defensive style that Freo have shown to be against LA Crows earlier this year? Yeah, well, look, all teams are really focusing on defence. Um, but, yeah, like Freo, no different. You know, they're, they're a heavy, heavy number type contest team. Um, so, yeah, we've got to make sure that we embrace that. Uh, absorb it and then hopefully be effective from it.